Hi guys, what I'm making is a tamale pie. So I have about a pound of, I chose ground meat. You can use whatever kind you want, turkey, chicken. It's all good, but I like the ground beef in it. Um, I have that browning and that's pretty much finished up. So what we're going to do next is we're going to add um, about a can's worth which is about 15, 16 ounces. You can do kidney beans or black beans. I like the black beans and leave the juice with them. If you have your own home canned, those will work absolutely fine and great. We're going to stir those in. And then we're also going to put in about 8 ounces of tomato. And I'm sorry there are ambulances in the background, but that's pretty normal for where I live. So we're going to do about 8 ounces. This is my home can. It has um, onion, pepper, cabanos, yep, and we're right on the money with that. That's 8 ounces. If we need the rest, we can add it in. We're going to stir that in. We're also going to do a half a cup of water. Get that. Stir that in. And then what comes next is taco seasoning. And I do make my own. I put a lot of cumin in mine. I used to not like the herb, but you know, now my taste buds have changed since I kind of forced myself to eat it. So, there will be a separate video on a couple parts of this. This being one, but I'm going to put it all under one name. But this is my homemade taco seasoning. This is equal to one package of what you would buy in the store. We're just going to get that in there. And what we're going to do is we're going to bring this to a boil. And then we're going to turn down the heat, let it simmer for about five minutes. And our next step, that, oops, I'm sorry, I kicked the camera, my apologies. Our next step is we're going to be taking like the Jiffy Corn Muffin Mix. And we're going to be placing it on top, kind of like biscuits, I guess. And then we're going to um, be covering it. And letting it cook. Oh, it's about 15 minutes. All this is done on your stovetop. But about 15 minutes until the Jiffy cornbread mix is done. Except I'm not using Jiffy. Because I have my own homemade version I use. And so um, the taco seasoning and the Jiffy homemade Jiffy will be under a separate video. But I will put them both together. So just look for the cornbread mix one and if you're interested in the taco seasoning because I may have done it before it's just been a really chaotic couple weeks here my brain's not all the way there but anyway you'll be able to find it there so while this is coming up to a boil I'm going to go ahead and get the video done for the Jiffy cornbread and then we'll be back when we're putting it on and we're and I will show you what it all looks like and how we'll get it all finished up okay so be back okay we are back with our tamale pie it was boiling and now it's at a simmer Ooh, that lid was hot okay so what I have in here so far is about a pound of ground beef 8 ounce can of tomato sauce. Mine is home canned with onions and poblanos. I have a, a can of, I put black beans, but kidney beans work really well in here too. A half cup of water. I have a package of taco seasoning, but that's the homemade that will be attached to the other video. And sitting to the side, I have the corn muffin mix mixed up it's right here and then I have about a cup of shredded cheese and I have some green onions so since this is where it's at now 
I am going to turn the heat down just a little more. But what we're going to do is take spoonfuls of the corn muffin mix and you're going to drop it on the top. Just like that. Kind of like when we do the pot pies. You don't want really big spoonfuls because you do want it to be cooked through. And we're just going to do that all over the top. Well, wow, that one's coming apart on me. And ideally, you want to use this whole package in here. I don't have megatons left, but I am going to do it in a little bit smaller pieces to take the rest of this and finish up around the edges. Because this is the tamale essence, if you will. Getting there. Couple more. Okay. And what we're going to do at this point is we're going to cover this and cook it over medium to low heat for 15 to 17 minutes until this corn muffin mix is done and when that is just about there I will be back with you okay we're back it's been about 16 minutes and you can see they're done it's just kind of like putting you know your biscuits on your pot pies and things and so now all we're simply going to do is throw some green onion on top I am an onion person, so there's going to be a lot. Everywhere as it appears. Let me spread this out a bit. Okay. Top that with some cheese. And then you're going to put the lid back on this and you're going to cover it and you're just going to cook it till the cheese melts. And guys, I don't know how many of you know this, but if at all possible, um, shred your own cheese because if you look at a lot of the packages of it, at the ingredients, it's going to say cellulose on the back and that is wood shavings tiny little pieces of wood that they stick in cheese to stop it from clumping together and you know we we are an, or we are an organic body we don't need wood shavings so anyway there you go pop the lid back on um you're going to probably just cook it about 5 minutes or so just just until you see the cheese melt and then bam you're ready to eat it's in one pot easy easy to do doesn't take very long other than the corn muffin mix and the taco seasoning which I would have just thrown in the pan had I not been going to include that in another video but pretty much close to a one pot meal so y'all have a great weekend God bless you and so there you go guys there's my plate the the tamale pie a salad you know with everything I had in my fridge pretty much and then I like to take onions and brown them in some butter and throw in some corn and mix that up. There you go. Easy dinner. Have a good, have a good week. God bless you.